On the steps of the Bear County Jail, former inmates and families of currently incarcerated people there met to demand an internal investigation in relation to the rising death toll of inmates in that facility. The national grassroots civil rights organization All of Us or None led today's protest, hoping to address challenges inside the jail. Alicia Barrera has their story. During 2019, multiple deaths of inmates were reported by the Bear County Sheriff's Office, but this group says it's simply one too many. While they were here, there were so many things that could have been done, I believe, to prevent that loss of life. Records show that some deaths were linked to medical complications, others by suicide and one by homicide. But questions remain for family members whose loved one died while in custody. I got no answers. There's no one that let us know anything. They just said that they walked in, he was allegedly hung. Where along the line did something go wrong? Why was someone not given the proper attention? It, was there not medical attention provided? Steven Huerta is an ex-convict and now leads the civil rights organization All of Us or None San Antonio Chapter as the executive director. Today they're asking for an internal investigation of the jail and the administration running it. Several candidates running for sheriff's office were present today, but who these activists and families really want to hear from today is from Sheriff Salazar himself. Because as they say this is an issue that needs immediate attention. The only reaction the group received today was a written statement from the Bear County Sheriff's Office that reads, this group has the right to peacefully assemble and we will ensure they are offered the opportunity. We want accountability. And that accountability cannot happen until the administration admits that this past year was not a good year and you can't brush it off. But the group says they need more from BCSO and will continue to raise their voices until changes are seen inside the jail. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.